Welcome to video number 99. Pretty excited about that. But today we're going to look at something underwater that a lot of people like to throw in the musky world. And that's paddle tail style swim baits. We're going to look at some of the most popular options. We're going to put them side by side. We're going to start right now. Big rubber swim baits are not new. But it's something that a lot of guys throw. And there's a lot of different options out there. We can't cover every single one. What we tried to do is get some of the most popular ones that we have and that most guys are going to buy. We got them in the water and we're going to try and give you guys a good representation of what most of the mo more common ones are going to look like under the water and what you guys can expect when you buy some. So the video that you're going to have here, Dave's throwing everything on a 9-foot full cork Moab from Chaos Tackle. He's throwing it on a high-speed Abu Garcia Beast. He's got 90-pound Barbarian Braid on. And in the video, he's got a fluorocarbon leader. And just a quick word on leader because it's something that comes up. I like to run 49-strand flexible wire leader. This is from Husky Musky Leaders that I had Bill make up for me this year. There's a couple other companies that make similar leaders. I just find it gives you the flexibility of a fluorocarbon but it cuts through the water easier because it's a smaller profile so it doesn't affect the action of the baits but whatever leader you guys have is going to work just know that some of the bigger heavier leaders might affect the baits a little bit so what you guys are going to see in this video you're going to see the mag shallow swimming dog we don't have a regular swimming dog i have some up here but i think in canada in most cases you're going to want to use the shallow version just because it doesn't go down as deep in the water column, and in a lot of places, we're using these in shallower areas. So you're going to see that from Musky Innovations. You are going to see the Poseidon from Chaos Tackle, and we actually show you guys this one with a blade attachment, and this is from Drop Time Tackle. This is their triple deuce blade attachment, but you're going to see the Poseidon with no attachment on it. You are going to see baits from Rover Baits, you're going to see a couple sizes of these. You will see the Shadzilla in a couple different sizes. And this is a really popular option for paddle tail style swim baits. We're going to include this Susie Sucker from Suic. It's definitely a different style of paddle tail, but it's one that's readily available. And I know it's pretty popular with guys. So you'll see this one. And just a quick word, anybody that's seen my video on the baits that I was looking forward to this year, we ran this bait from SJR Baits in the Water, and I really like this one with the top-mounted hooks. We did run it the day that we filmed, but I tried to change up the hooks a little bit, and I threw the balance off, so that was my bad. So I'm going to include the footage from the previous video, so just keep in mind it wasn't done on the same day, but I wanted to show you guys this one again in direct relation to these other swim baits.
Hope you guys enjoyed that little look at some of the most popular swim bait options out there. This isn't meant to be uh, who's better, who's worse, what's number one, what's not number one. It's just about showing you guys what they look like in the water. Do we have favorites in here? We have some that we go to more often than others, but each one has its place and they all have a unique vibration and sound to them. And I think they can fit a variety of different uses. So it's just meant to be information for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like some of the videos that we do, check out this one here where we have some really cool baits underwater that we really like. And until next time, 54 Bust is out of here. We'll catch you guys out on the water later.